Wearable technology has emerged as a game changer in the retail sector, and it has the potential to appease the modern retail landscape, both on a business to consumer front and internally on a business to business front. Now, in this fireside chat, we learn about the utilities of wearable technologies in retail. Please join me in welcoming onto the stage Tandan Bhaiwani, who is the marketing manager at Alatem, and Josefa Selawala, who is the director of sales MEA at Zebra Technologies. A round of applause for our gentlemen. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's supposed to be a fireside chat, uh, but taking into consideration the weather we have in this region, we decided to do away with the fire. But uh, we will still keep our chat fiery because it's a very interesting subject, and I'm sure all of you will enjoy hearing about it. Um, over to you, Chandan. Well, good afternoon, everyone. So I would like to like, start off with something which is variable technology. Why? It is so fascinating that people are so much talking about it these days. If I could see a show of hands, how many of you are actually wearing a digital device right now? Well, that's a very good number. So we all are definitely concerned about how our fitness goals are being tracked and are going, uh, how our uh, new resolutions are taking shape while we are half year down the way, right? Similarly, if I have to talk about wearable technology in fashion and, uh, not in fashion, in family entertainment centers, which I represent. So it is secure, it is convenient, but at the same time, what it also helps in a way is, it also helps in developing the child's cognitive nature. It helps in developing the child's physical nature. How? There are different activities where, like wall climbing, where the kids go, they do physical activity, they always try to beat up the time which they did last time. At the similarly, we have Lego making at our locations. So the child can always learn and develop on their IQ by ensuring that whatever time they had uh, played the Lego for, they try to outdo themselves and they also try to outdo their friends. So this way, we try to bring in more wearable technology in our family entertainment centers. Another area, where we have actually introduced, uh, where we have introduced uh, wearable tech is that nowadays, like usually the kids play through a game card, okay? But these days we have introduced a customized wristband. So the kids, they just recharge the wristband and then they just go and play, they tap on the game cards and they just go all out. And that experience is even more secure because as a retailer, we know where exactly the location of the kids is in our premises. And at the same time, as a parent, the, uh, the father or the mother also knows that yeah, the kids is playing in the play area because they get all the details on their mobile phone when it is being connected. So we also do get different data analysis through this. We get to know which ride or which product is being preferred more by the kids. Uh, what is the dwell time by the kids? at any specific attraction, how do we increase that time? How do we customize it? So in a way, we have seen that a lot of Disney products are already being uh, pushed to the kids. They, they are like wearing them. They are now wearing them on their uh, wristwatches, smartwatches. So in a way, we want to showcase that, yeah, we want to bring that Disney experience to our facilities at, let's say, different uh, segments, different areas through our merchandise. Also, when the kids do play, they win this merchandise. It helps the operation team to understand that what are the off-peak hours, what are the busy hours, and that way it also helps our uh, operations team to allocate their human resources. In a way, it also helps the operations team to understand the inventory levels and when would be a good time to replenish those. I would also uh, touch base a little bit more upon VR. Well, I believe we had uh, some masterclass early morning. So VR is, again, another fascinating technology on wearable tech. So 
if I have to just compare how this has actually transformed the products which we have at our FECs, so previously we had like a dance revolution uh, video game. Okay. There, the kid used to just step on whatever arrows are being coming on the screen. But now, with the introduction of VR, the same game has been revolutionized and now turned us as Beat Saber, where the kid can actually play not only with their feet movements, but also with the hand gestures, also the head, and they get more immersed in that experience. So that is how the technology and the VR is actually changing and enhancing the customer experience. And definitely then there are more reward points, more loyalty points, instant gratification, because we are sitting on data. And definitely data is like oil for all our retailers, right? Well, Josefa, how is your take on B2B? So pretty exciting, right, on the consumer side. I think the excitement on wearable is on most of your wrists, so you can understand the power of wearable. What I'm going to show you is how this wearable technology transforms your business operations. So we are going to now look at a quick example of application of the wearable technology in B2B. So I'm sorry I'm a bit messy here, but this is how our business operations areas are outside the retail shop floor. So what I have here today is a typical box. I'm sorry because of the condition. I'm not blaming Emirates Post for it if, if Steve is here, but uh, this is my doing. In a typical warehouse area, when you are going to receive this box, you have a device like this where the warehouse worker gets an order to either receive or dispatch, issue or retrieve a box or an item. So he scans the barcode, he will put some inputs that he needs to, scan, take the box. We are now in a revolution where retail is transformed because of the growth of e-commerce. This way of doing operations is no more efficient because I'm issuing more number of orders inside the warehouse than what I previously used to. How do I transform this warehouse worker or my store operator from doing more than what he used to do? So we do away with this. And in comes a variable. The functionality of the mobile computer that was here is now on his wrist. Why? His hands are free. Do you understand what productivity enhancement this translates into just when I free his hand from holding a mobile computer to holding nothing? Which means I can pick this box, I can pick another box and continue operating without keeping my hands occupied with a piece of technology. Let's take it a step further. What I got in my hand or my finger is a scanner. Now I'm going to scan every barcode that I need to identify because my system is asking me to do so. This variable is connected to a voice device so I can actually get voice instructions in terms of what I need to scan, what I need to retrieve, or what I need to put. Makes it a lot more easier, hands-free operation. Imagine the productivity enhancement. But today, we are living in a challenging time. Transactions are growing rapidly, exponentially, and we have all heard about great mass resignations. While in the white-collar jobs, we do have a problem, but we also have a problem that we don't have enough labor. So as your organization goes through labor turnover, how do you ensure that you have enough time to train them and bring them up to speed? So a new kind of variable is taking shape, and what Chandan referred to is augmented reality. So let me show you another variable. Now when I have this piece of an eyewear 
on my face, I actually don't need a screen on my wrist or on my hand. There is a small mobile computer here that is actually giving me all the information that I need in a digitized format. When I wear this, I get instructions and arrows telling me, go right, go left, go straight, don't go here. Nobody is speaking to me. I don't have to worry about the language barrier. I don't have to worry whether the system is understanding my voice. It's all augmented reality guided system. And then as I go to the shelf, I need to pick up something. All the instructions automatically come up on my screen in an illustrative manner asking me to pick up something or drop something into a shelf. So this is how wearable technologies are actually transforming the way we work today. Whether it is on your hands for your health and safety, whether it is inside a retail where the consumer data benefits your business operations, or it goes into the hands of your frontline workers and your supply chain experts to drive productivity enhancement. So thank you very much for your time. <laughs>